Hey everybody, another Patty's Review here. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be going over my new uh, glass and tripod. Um, uh, it's going to serve as you know, my main tripod on my uh, backpack hunt in uh, Idaho this year. And I uh, just wanted to kind of go over it because I don't really see a lot of... Uh, you know, reviews on it, except for, you know, from the company that makes it, and you know how those reviews usually go, so I want to give you guys just a quick rundown of, you know, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, um, and how I think it is going to, you know, serve me uh, in the back country of Idaho. So uh, let me just start with uh, what it is, it's the uh, Vortex Pro GT. S, I think? No, just Pro GT. Um, this is Vortex's, uh, I guess, top of the line tripod. Um, it comes in at, I think, around 150 MSRP. So it's not too expensive for a, a tripod of this quality. Um, there's others, you know, that you can spend $400 on and I feel like this has a lot of those those nice features that you get from one of those. Um, the the thing I like about it the best is the uh, the panning um, head. It's just one uh, piece to uh, adjust here, so it's just this little knob here. And you uh, you just loosen it, and you see how fluid it is, and it does you know up, down left, right, you know. Um, now, if you if you want to get like a weird, which I don't have any intentions of doing this, but if you're a photographer or you know, something like that, or you're in a weird angle, um, you can adjust this as well. Uh, this is a separate knob though, and this just allows the, uh, whatever's mounted on there to, you know, fluctuate a little bit. But, I'll probably just keep mine just where it is just like that. Um, it's a really uh, heavy duty tripod. I think it weighs a little bit over four pounds. So it's it's kind of on the heavy side. And you know that's that's a downside when you're when you're um, trying to shave ounces from your from your backpack. But um, I feel like the quality of it, you know, makes up for that. Um, so the the legs, they're you just fold them out. They kind of got some resistance to them, right? It's pretty uh, pretty strong resistance to them. So you know, I, I mean, that's just a just seems like a good indicator of, of quality to me. So this is as uh, tall as it is. Um, I mean, this is as short as you can get it, I guess. You can make adjustments here, and like so, if you're sitting down, and you know this, this probably isn't tall enough for you if you're if you're sitting on your butt and you're behind it. But you know, bring it up a little bit, tighten it up, and then you got your uh, you know pretty pretty good. So it's it's really easy to make adjustments for you know your height or whatever position you're in. Uh, it does. It does get pretty tall, like I'm 6'2", and it has plenty of room for me to stand and uh, look at, you know, glass from it. These things, it's just a, it's just a simple uh, latch here, and uh, there's one, and two, so, and then the feet, they're like a rubber kind of foot, so they, you know, hold their, hold their position pretty well. They don't really move a lot. Um, I'll show you guys how tall it gets. It's a pretty, pretty tall tripod. Let me move some stuff here. And it's really sturdy. That's another thing I liked about it. I, I wouldn't feel uh, uncomfortable putting a 85 millimeter tripod on here. It, it feels like it, it could hold you know, a bus. So keep that in mind when you're looking at tripods as well, because Vortex does have some 
some other models that are a little bit cheaper, a little bit lighter, um, but they might not hold the, uh, the heavy spotting scopes as well. I'm gonna adjust this real quick. It's funny because I'm filming a video about a tripod with a camera on a tripod. It's just a cheap one though. But yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, you know the basics of this thing. Now it comes with this uh, mounting bracket, I guess you'd call it, and uh, so all you do is you uh, have an accessory that fits this, which I think most you know most like cameras or or uh, spotting scopes or binocular adapters, they will have this size uh, female threaded in. And so you basically just put it on there and tighten it with this on the bottom. Um, so I have a couple different setups for this. First, I have, um, this is, this was what I first bought for my uh, binoculars. I have a set of Vortex uh, Vipers 10 by 50s and so this part just kind of screws into the front end of those and I'll show you actually So I have a different adapter on here right now, but right here is where This would screw into that um, Right now I have a, a it's called a vortex uni adapter. I think is how you say it and This is a much better option. I I think uh, the reviews are kind of mixed on them. They say, some people say it's wobbly, uh, it's not as, as, as sturdy, but you know, I don't really see that. And uh, the, the, the good thing about this is, okay, so let me, let me step back. This is, is the, uh, one of the pieces that comes with that adapter. So this little bracket just screws on the top of this, this other uh, mounting bracket and then this piece that you have on your binoculars just slides into there and that's how that works and then when you're done glassing and you want to put it back in your uh, bino harness you just take it out and it fits in your bino harness just fine so that's a really nice feature um, the one downside for that setup is you know, if, if your tripod takes a tumble, um, your binoculars are probably going to fall off because there's nothing, nothing holding them like in. You know, I mean, they they have some pretty good. Like you can go pretty good distances. Like if you're glassing, it's not going to fall out. But if your tripod falls, you know, like by accident, your your binoculars are going to fall out. So just keep that in mind. Um, so another nice little feature of this tripod and I've, I've already practiced with this is I bought this little V rest off of Optics Planet uh, I think it was like $15 so you know it's a nice little option for a uh, a tripod basic uh, a shooting tripod so this just slides in just like it would your binocular uh, uh, bracket and then you just uh, put your weapon on there so it's kind of a nice little catch all it does it does a lot of a lot of things that I need to do and it's you know I don't have to carry shooting sticks as well as my tripod so it's pretty nice so yeah that's that's kind of all I got for for you um, oh another feature that I guess I didn't go over which isn't really I don't I don't think it's that cool of a feature but you guys might is this little hook down here that's so you can I guess hang a bag or something to add more stability to it uh, if you're glassing really tall. Um, but like I said, it it's pretty sturdy by itself, so I really didn't see a need for that. But it, you know, it's a nice little added feature. I'll kind of show you how this binoculars or these uh, brackets mount in there that way you can see let's see if I can just so here's my 
uni adapter uh, bracket and then this just kind of so there's a little release here so it just kind of lays in there and then you kind of just tighten it right here and then you get you're walking around you got your binoculars and this thing's already set up for them so you just oh, oh, it can only go in one way so. Let me change this. So there's little slots on here, and uh, the slots on that part that are connected to the binocular have to line up. So just make just make sure you you have it like you need it. And you're ready to go. You see, like I was saying, it's pretty forgiving, like, it's not going to fall out unless you, you know, knock it over, so. So it's pretty smooth. You can make minor adjustments, tighten, it's pretty easy to work. I think uh, any anyone that is in need of a quality tripod that's not, you know, upwards of $300, $400, this one's a pretty good option. I didn't really look at, I didn't get to test out any of those really expensive ones, so you know I don't, I don't know um, if they're, you know, if that price tag you know, is warranted. But all I know is this one is, it's pretty good for for what you get and uh, what you pay for. So that's uh, that's basically all I got for you guys. I hope this is helpful and uh, if it. If you want to see more, um, I'm going to be doing some uh, more reviews on these binoculars, um, and then I got some other like lightweight camping gear that I'll probably be shooting videos of soon. So go ahead and subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. All right, bye.